Well, I finally procrastinated myself into a corner. You know how the thing goes. Currently, I have one third of the multiboard panels on the wall and a few more laying around, plus 20 cheap DC motors and ESP32, some motor drivers, wires and capacitors. I've been putting off this project so much that I only have seven days left to make an advent calendar. The clock is ticking and it's already late afternoon of day one. No pressure. The goal is simple. 24 different balls need to launch off this wall in 24 unique ways. One for each day. How hard could it be? Each ball journey breaks down into three stages. Stage one, initial impulse to get the ball moving. Stage two, travel path across the wall. Stage three, ejection mechanism to launch it off dramatically. Now here is the problem, 24 balls and only 20 motors. The math doesn't work. But I have a solution that's either brilliant or terrible, probably both. Today I'm building a large gear that mounts to the multiboard. A small pinion gear on the motor will drive it with about 20 to 1 reduction. And because I apparently enjoy making things harder than necessary, the inside of the gear will be built from multiboard panels themselves. The idea is that each gear can move multiple mechanisms as it rotates. Do I know how exactly how this will work? Not really, but future me is very capable. I'm sure he'll figure it out. So it's nearly 2 a.m. I have finished printing a multiboard gear. The holder for the motor the motor gear and the holder for the multiboard gear and the gear is a bit loose but overall it's a multiboard gear it spins That was fast. A lot has happened. I printed the big gear and tested it. Two problems. Motor way too fast and the whole thing wobbled like crazy. So I did what any reasonable person would do. I made it way more complicated. Inside the gear I added a ring of angled teeth. Four small gears slot into it and because the teeth are angled, they can't back out. It's like a finger trap. Once you're in, you are stuck. Each small gear has a peg that screws into the wall. But you can't screw them in first and then hang the big gear. The angles won't let you. So you have to hold everything in place with special keys. Push it against the wall and then twist. The pegs go in. The keys come out. Four mounting points instead of one. No wobble. Totally overkill. I love it. But the motor still spins too fast. I need a gearbox to slow it down. Sounds simple, right? I've been stuck on this for hours. The problem was I couldn't figure out how to stack gears. Every gear in my design was different thickness. Nothing lined up. Then it clicked. What if they are all the same? I picked one thickness, same as the multiboard, and spaced them evenly. The motor happens to be exactly five layers deep. Now I can put gears on any layer and step down smoothly from motor speed to something usable. I also cranked up the angle on those locking gears. Hopefully they actually hold this time. Let's check it out! The gearbox worked. And again, problems. No, I messed up. This time with geometry. Multiboard hole spacing is 25 millimeters. For gears to mesh properly, the tooth count sum needs to be divisible by 50, and 240 plus 80 is not divisible by 50. In theory, it shouldn't work, but let's ignore math again. It keeps ruining things. A random discovery helped, or as they say, trial and error. I tried different holes around the big gear, and one worked diagonally. And it actually looks even better. I'm so proud of myself. 
so I kept this diagonal layout for all the gearboxes. You need you rails. God, I'm never gonna sleep again. Designed a new straight rail for the layer system with the same mounts. Key feature, the rail can now rotate around its mounting point. Immediately came up with two ways to use it. After some sleep, I rethought the project. The balls were supposed to dramatically launch off the wall. Yes, exactly like that. But that spectacular show is now cancelled. Each ball has final destination on the wall where it rolls to. Not a launch, an arrival. When building the first mechanism, I removed all the prototype rails. On a clean state, assembled it with new rails. Connected the ESP32 with a driver. With Claude's help, I made a website to control one motor. And another problem, I've already lost count on those. Motor turns on, controller shuts off. Cycle repeats. Reason, microcontroller and motor on the same power line. When motor starts, voltage drops, controller reboots. The microcontroller literally shooting itself in the foot by turning on the motor. No time for a proper fix, of course. Solution, separate power for motors and controller. Done. I spent the whole next day in a daze. Couldn't come up with any mechanism. So I decided to keep it light with some productive procrastination. Printing more gears, multi-board panels, mounts, expanded the wall, increased from 40 to 108 panels. Plan was 120, but no time. Impressive enough. Next day, rested and focused, I continued. Mounted six big gears on the wall. Finished printing parts, except reality, I won't make it to 24 balls. First, can't print in time. Second, can't design the mechanisms. Brain is already fried. Bottom line, I'll do what I can. And finally, the last day, the most anticipated and crucial. Final assembly with a new concept. Got into the electronics, wires again, soldering irons, that nice rosin smell and the usual gear. Soldered wires with six motors, assembled all six gearboxes. Ran wires behind the panels, built the circuit on a breadboard. Moved to software. Claude revealed the site for six motors with my design. And thankfully, it worked first try. I just applied some glue. And look at this amazing app I built. Uh, so, here it is. I just choose the one. How cool is that? I'm so happy. Uh, everything works. Uh, look at this. Look at this amazing uh, microcontroller. Had to loop a couple of gears because one motor wasn't powerful enough. What we ended up with, instead of balls randomly going on mini journeys, now there are two balls with two awesome tracks that share part of the pass, then split at a fork. Along the way you need to activate five motors at the right moments. After assembling the final trajectory using the rails I made earlier and new modifications, you can now see the results of this work.
project complete. Now I can finally get some sleep and rest. And for those who enjoyed the video, hi mom!